Good morning, everyone. We're going to start with a song that we know really well. Have you brought your talking voice? So do you remember what to say? That's right, you're saying, yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your talking voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your growling voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your teacher's voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And have you brought your sleepy voice? Ah, yes, we have. Yes, we have. And have you brought your robot voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And have you brought your witch's voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And have you brought your sad voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your happy voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And have you brought your robot voice? Yes, we have. And have you brought your talking voice? And have you brought your voice? What's another one? Have you brought your pop star voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And let's try. Have you brought your singing voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your higher voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your even higher voice, which is still really quiet? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your really low voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your angel's voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your loud voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your quiet voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your snow voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Have you brought your fast voice? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Lovely. I think we're ready to sing our first song. This first song is all about different animals and having different animals as pets. I'm going to sing it for you, so just have a little listen and then we'll learn it together. Bought me a cat. Cat pleased me. Left my cat under yonder tree. Cat went fiddle dee dee. Who can work out? I'm sure some of you might have worked this out already. What am I doing when I do this and I go fiddle dee dee? What am I doing? It's got some ideas. Oh, something, I'm playing, what was that? Someone thinks I'm playing an instrument. Cat went fiddle dee dee. What do you think, what instrument? If I'm holding it up like this and I'm doing something like this, do you think it's a drum? No, it's not a drum. You don't play a drum like this. Do you play a drum like this? Is it a piano? No, you play the piano like this, don't you? It's not a piano. Is it a whistle? How do you play a whistle? You play a whistle like this. What's this? That's right, this is a violin. When people are playing folk music, often they call a violin a fiddle. Can you say fiddle? Fiddle, well done. And when we say fiddle dee dee, we're going to do this action. We're going to go fiddle dee dee. Like this. Let's try that together. Fiddle dee dee. So the song goes like this. Bought me a cat. Cat pleased me. Left my cat under yonder tree. Cat went fiddle dee dee. Lovely. Who can think of another animal that we could add to our song? I've got some ideas. That's a lovely idea. I'm gonna, next one, we're gonna buy us a dog. This one goes like this. What's, what's the action gonna be for our dog? That's a really good one. Our dog's gonna go woof, 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 woof. Let's try that. Off we go. Bought me a dog. Dog pleased me. Left my dog under yonder tree. Dog went woof, 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 woof. Cat went fiddle dee dee. Lovely. What's our next animal gonna be? Who can think of one? Oh, that's a good one. We're gonna do bought me a snake. And the snake's gonna go Let's try that together. Off we go. Bought me a snake. 
snake pleased me. Left my snake under yonder tree. Snake went sss. Dog went woof, 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 woof. Cat went fiddle dee dee. Who can think of a fourth animal we can have? Let's have a thing. What's a good fourth animal we can have? I think our fourth animal, we're going to do a frog and it's going to go ribbit, ribbit and it's going to pretend it's jumping ribbit, ribbit, like that. So we've got the frog goes ribbit, what does the dog do? That's right, the dog goes woof, 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 what does the snake do? Absolutely right, the snake goes and what does the cat do? Yeah, the cat goes fiddle dee dee. Let's go all the way from the animal we just added. What was the animal we just added? Absolutely right, it was a frog. Good, your brains are very switched on today, aren't they? Off we go. Bought me a frog. Frog pleased me. Left my frog under yonder tree. Frog went ribbit, ribbit. What's the next one? That's right, snake. Snake went sss. Dog went woof, 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 woof. Cat went fiddle dee dee. And for our last animal, let's have a cow. And the cow's gonna go moo, moo. It's a very, very sensible big cow with big eyebrows and a very low moo sound. Off we go. Bought me a cow. Cow pleased me. Left my cow under yonder tree. Cow went moo, moo. Frog went ribbit, ribbit. What's the next one? Snake went Dog went woof, 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 woof. Cat went fiddle dee dee. Well done for your beautiful singing. I heard some of you were singing so beautifully that I could hear you all the way from here. That was lovely singing voices. For our next activity, you need to find a wooden sound maker, like two wooden spoons going clack, 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 or a shaky sound maker, like a packet of something, or like pebbles in a jar going shaky, shaky, shake. Get ready to pause the video. Are you ready? And pause. Well done for finding a sound maker. First of all, let's just have a play of our sound makers and see what kinds of sounds we can make. I'm gonna play along on this drum. Let's see if we can play our sound makers loudly. Are we ready? One, two, three, and go. And stop. And next, let's see if we can play our sound makers quietly. And stop. Lovely quiet playing. Let's see if you can get a new sound out of your sound makers. Have a look at it and think about how you can make a new sound. Maybe if it's a shaky one you can roll it instead of shaking it. Or if it's wooden spoons you can just rub them together instead of hitting them. Are we ready? One, two, three. Lovely new sounds I'm hearing, really, really far away, I can hear them. And stop. And let's see if all together we can count to eight on our instruments. Are we ready? And off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. This time, see if we can count to eight, but I'm not going to use my voice. So see if you can just count to eight in your thinking voice and stop at the right time. And off we go. Well done. Let's see this time if we can count to 16. That's a really big number, isn't it? Can we count to 16 and maybe just use a whisper to keep yourself in count? Well done if you stopped with me at the right place. This time, let's see if we can count at a different speed. We're just going to count to eight, but I'm going to count in a, at a different speed and see if you can follow. Are we ready? And off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What can you
can you tell me about that time? That's right, that time was slower than before, wasn't it? We got slower. This time, see if you can tell what the difference is. Are you ready, Anne? Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely right. What was different about that one? Completely right. That one was faster. Well done for working that out and listening to the differences. I've got two posters here and I'd like you to have a look at your sound maker and work out when you should be playing depending on the posters. So, have a look at this poster. Have a look at this poster. Read what the word says. This w, uh, uh, d. What does this word say? That's right. Wood. Can you say wood? And have a look at your sound maker and see if you can work out, is your sound maker made of wood? If your sound maker is made of wood, then it's your chance to be playing, isn't it? And as soon as I put the poster down, you stop playing. Let's try that. When I lift it up, if you've got a wooden instrument, play, 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 clack, 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 and stop. <gasps> clack, 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 and stop. Well done. And next, let's have a look at this one. What do you think about this poster? That's right, let's read this word together. This says w a t t li Rattly. So these are rattly, shaky instruments. If you have a rattly, shaky instrument, it's your chance to be playing. So shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake, shake, and stop. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake, shake, and stop. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake, and stop. And stop. Well done, that was really fast playing, wasn't it? I'm going to use these shaky posters to tell us a story which we are going to play along to with our instruments. So this story is going to be about two animals in the jungle and if you're playing a wooden instrument you're going to be playing for one of the animals and if you are playing a rattly shaky instrument you're going to be playing for the other. So watch really carefully for the posters that I hold up to see when it's your chance to play along with the story. I hope you're sitting comfortably and you have your sound maker near you. We're going to listen to a story all about the jungle and the different sounds that you can hear in the jungle. When it's your turn to play the sound of something we can hear in the jungle, I'll hold up the poster for your kind of instrument and you can play along. Once upon a time, there was a lovely friendly lion who loved walking through the forest and he had really, really long toenails and you could hear them when he walked on the rocks. They went like this. The sound they made was they went clack, 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 clack on the rocks. And he walked and he walked and he could feel the sun on his fur. He loved feeling the sun. And suddenly he thought, oh, I'm a bit thirsty. And in the distance, he heard lovely rushing water he could hear the water rushing over the stones and rushing in between things and over things and under things. And he could hear it and it sounded beautiful. So he walked towards it and he went and he drank some of the beautiful rushing water and he could hear the water shake, shake, shaking, rushing over things. After he had had a lovely sip of water, he carried on walking through the forest. Clack, 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 clack. Clack, clack. And he got to his friend's house, the woodpecker, and he heard the woodpecker made the most strange and beautiful sound he'd ever heard. The woodpecker had a really, really long beak and he was tapping it onto the wood of the tree. And it was going tap, 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 just like that. Can I hear the sounds of the woodpecker tapping? Wow, you're making lovely sounds in your sound makers of the woodpecker tapping. That's lovely. And the lion kept walking and he could hear the wind in the trees going And he thought he was a little bit tired after his long day. So he lay down and he had a lovely rest and he could hear the wind in the trees going And he could hear the woodpecker tapping, tap, tap, tapping his beak onto the tree. And he fell fast asleep. Well done if you played along to that. Next week we'll hear all about what happens when the lion wakes up and what he does with his friend the woodpecker. And you'll be able to join in on your instruments. So 
been really lovely doing music with you today and I'll see you again next week for more music. Bye!